certain times of the year, the farmer will be on the lookout for diseases that can affect his trees and crop. There are two main diseases that can affect deciduous fruit. These are apple scab and powdery mildew. The most common and damaging disease for pears and apples is apple scab, which is also known as black spot. It's a fungal disease that causes a huge amount of trouble and can greatly affect production. Apple scab releases spores which attack the leaf as well as the fruit of apple and pear trees. The disease doesn't usually kill the tree but can significantly reduce fruit yields and fruit quality. Apple scab attacks the tree in the spring. It needs wet conditions combined with the right temperatures to release the spores that float through the air and land on the plant. Those that land on fruit or leaves will embed into the surface and begin to grow. The main method of keeping this disease out of the orchard is to use a preventative program. When rain is forecast, the farmer will spray a fungicide onto the orchard using a mist blower behind a tractor just before the rain comes. The fungicide covers the entire tree. Wet leaves and fruit are the perfect growing medium for fungal spores. As they land on the leaves and fruit, they will be killed on contact by the fungicide that the farmer has just sprayed. There are systemic products that can kill apple scab up to 72 hours after an outbreak. After 72 hours, the fungus is very difficult to kill. Another big problem is powdery mildew, which affects both pome and stone fruit and is especially damaging to peaches, apricots and nectarines. Powdery mildew needs high temperatures and moist conditions to flourish. It affects the leaf surfaces, the stems, flowers, buds and the fruit. It starts as a black dot and develops into spots or patches of white to greyish talcum powder-like growth. Although powdery mildew is unattractive, it is rarely fatal. However, it does stress the plant and if enough of the leaf surface becomes covered with powdery mildew, photosynthesis is impaired. Insufficient photosynthesis can diminish the flavour and size of the fruit. If buds become infected, they may not open and mature at all. Powdery mildew is controlled by spraying a fungicide according to a spraying program from the start of blossom to the end of November. Usually spraying is done every two weeks. In peach, plum and nectarine orchards, fruit dropped in the picking rows could rot and are perfect growing mediums for all types of fungus. Dropped fruit should be picked up immediately to prevent fungal growth. There are a few bacterial diseases that affect fruit trees. Apricots, plums and peaches are more susceptible to bacterial diseases than any other fruit types. Bacterial diseases can only be treated using antibiotics, which is illegal in most parts of the world. So the only way to prevent them is to build up the immune system in the tree by feeding and watering it well. Building up the tree's immune system will make it stronger and able to resist these bacterial diseases.